Well, hello everybody. It's November 15th, 2022 in the Big Bear Lake, California. And we're just gonna do a little video of how much snow remains. Basically, we're gonna go by the uh, two ski resorts and then go through the village and back down Big Bear Boulevard so you guys can see the difference. Basically at the mountain where you go skiing and snowboarding and then what we have left in town per se. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. It's not gonna be the most uh, most snow you've ever seen, but hopefully there's enough snow for you guys to make a determination, a good one to come up here and bring the kids up and go sledding and have a great time. Anyway, how y'all doing today? Hope you guys hope you guys are having a great, great, beautiful day. Here's the golf course, by the way. To the right, I must say. Or are you gonna go play? Or hey, down by the bay? I just may, what do you say? All right, here we go, <laughs> sorry. Oh, here we go. Here's that Nick guy again. Super annoying. Thinks he's funny, but he's just funny looking. All right. So we're on Moon Ridge Road right now, you guys, and we're heading to Bear Mountain. And once we get to Bear, we're gonna we're gonna take the back streets all the way th well through to Snow Summit, and then from Snow Summit all the way to the village, and then back uh, down the Big Red Boulevard to come back to the Moon Ridge area. So I'm basically just staying in where most of you folks reside when you come stay up here, which is the, uh, that part of Big Bear Lake. And as I said, I, I hope there's enough snow for you guys. As you guys will notice, the closer we get to the ski resorts, the more snow we're gonna see. Um, and yeah, so just try to remember how much snow you're seeing right here, because when we get up here, down by the village and then out on Big Bear Boulevard, it's gonna be significantly less. Even though it's not much of a difference in terms of distance. Anyway, you guys freaking rock. I miss you guys a lot. I'm so glad we have winter time. I'm so glad we got these storms. Unfortunately, there's no snow on the horizon, you guys. There's nothing in the forecast. To be honest, I don't know if Snow Summit's even gonna stay open. That's my personal opinion. Yes, we've been having super cold temperatures at night this early in the season, which is, I haven't seen that yet since I've lived here, so that's a good sign. But I'm worried that they're not gonna stay open because we're just not getting enough weather. And yes, they can make a bunch of snow, but uh, yeah, I think it was a, a very ballsy move of them to open, and I'm glad they did because we love you guys and we want you guys to come up and have a great time. That's, uh, Here's Bear Mountain. Do a little slow drive. They got good coverage here as well. And I am so stoked for these. These, these snow making crews are amazing. They do a great job. They really do a great job, you guys. All right, so we're gonna take off, eh? We make a right here on Clubview Drive, and we're gonna take this till we get to a street called Willow, and then make a left, and then we're gonna turn left on Switzerland from there. But anyway, here's the golf course to the right. This is hole number nine. Your finishing hole on this little executive course. Right now, the current temperature is 39 degrees outside, and we are at 7,000 feet elevation. As you can see, next to the ski resorts, there's a lot more snow. Um, but once again, a bummer, we're not gonna see any snow falling from the sky for some time. I mean, there's nothing in the forecast, not even the, the super extended forecast. A friend of ours on the channel, Gabriel Magana, sent me some information today via text message telling me that uh, it looks like there's some huge changes coming towards the, the, uh, the beginning of next month, so we'll see. We shall see. I hope that's the case. Because I want you guys to get your butts up here. And have a darn good time. Alright, this is hole number six, I believe. or Yeah, hole number six right here. Here's Willow. Kind of bummed. Pull over and make a U turn wherever you want, bud. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 
All right. Once again, it is November 15, 2022. The current time is 2.30 on the dot. And we are driving through Lower Moon Ridge right now. This is Willow. It's the, right up against these houses. All these homes' backyards is right up against the wilderness. And they get a lot of bears back here. But yeah, so we're going to kind of, this is kind of like a shortcut, you guys, when there's huge traffic on Moon Ridge Road to get to Bear Mountain. There's all these signs that say uh, no no resort access, but it's just to keep, keep all you guys off of the residential streets. There is access, but we, if you're going to take these back streets, obviously, you guys are super respectful. Just maintain your respect, that's all. Don't be speeding too fast. I'm going 25, that's the speed limit. I'm not doing the speed limit just because it's the speed limit obviously if conditions were worse i wouldn't be going as fast but we are going the speed limit now we're turning on elm willow dead ends into elm and your first street here is switzerland you're going to make a left if you turn right it's cedar but you want to turn left here on switzerland and yeah we'll take this all the way to summit boulevard we'll go through snow summits parking lot if we're able to There's some gargantuan houses on this street, you guys. It's so beautiful. I'm telling you, you guys work hard enough, get a good education, and just, instead of going out and partying on Friday and Saturday nights, you know, stay focused and work your butts off, any of this is achievable. It's so bothersome hearing people talking smack and hating on people like this, but it's usually the people who don't want to put any effort into it but I'm, I'm i'm telling you what even those of you who don't feel like it's possible guarantee you you can do it i believe in each and every single one of you so much and you guys have such good attitudes and and you guys give me a really really peaceful state of mind i love you guys so much you guys are my brothers and sisters like with without a doubt i love you guys more than my own siblings but that is what it is Wow, this is beautiful. We got a little bit of a nasty road here. Hopefully we don't go sliding out everywhere, but we're just gonna let go of the, let go of the brake and go. Woo! This street, they'll fix it about every other year because it develops huge potholes everywhere. But as I said, they they repair the whole thing every other year. It's It's, it's just nutty. Hang on a second. Yo, yo. Oh, no way. <laughs> You're the man. Can, can, can you give me like 15 more minutes, please? Or That's totally, totally fine. Totally fine. I can meet you there. You are the man. Yeah, dude, no worries. Absolutely. Be... <laughs> All right, man. I, I'm glad you found it. <laughs> All right, G. Later. Bye. All right, my friend thought he left his wallet in my car, but it was crammed in between his seat. His name's Greg, he's a pro boxer. The dude is super cool and super badass. Don't wanna mess with him at all. Glad he's on my side, I'll tell you that. Glad he's on my side. Anyway, we're still on Switzerland. We're coming up to, uh... let's see. We're coming up to uh, Snow Summit here on the left-hand side and Summit Boulevard. So instead of continuing on Switzerland, we're just gonna make a left here. Hopefully they'll let us through the parking lot to drive through, but maybe not. No, it doesn't look like they are, so we're just gonna get a nice little view of Snow Summit from here. Look at that big old sun in the background, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't wanna deal with the parking employees today. I'm not in a parking employee mood right now. So here's Summit Boulevard. All the way down there at the stoplight is Big Bear Boulevard. All right, these are some awesome condos right here at the foot of the ski resort. You gotta love that. You gotta love that. Sorry again, you guys, that we didn't take uh, or go in, into the parking lot, but it is what it is. 
it is what it is. This next street we're coming up to, uh, where we're gonna turn right, is called Thrush. And in case you you forget, just remember, Carl's Jr. is on the corner of Thrush and Big Bear Boulevard. So this is usually the exit for Snow Summit. take this all the way down till we get to um, Brownie Lane then we're gonna turn on Brownie as I said we're gonna take the back roads all the way to the village and then we're gonna take Big Bear Boulevard back Big Bear Boulevard will probably be the best visual for you guys to decide whether uh, you want to come up or not because as, as I said you know that's there's not that much snow left, and the snow is melting pretty quickly. Uh, McWinnie. Uh, it is melting quickly, quickly, quickly. It's only 38 though right now. As I said, it's been really cold, and we're turning left on Brownie Lane right here. Left here. It's been really cold this time of year. Um, or this time, this time of year. Not used to it. We're literally, our lows are in the high teens, lower 20s, like every night. It's just... It's incredible. That's precisely why they were able to open up the ski resorts because they knew that they'd be able to take advantage of snowmaking weather. And once again, I am so proud of these guys. They have done such a tremendous job for you guys. Oh my gosh. And I have a good friend, Tom, who works as a snowmaker. And uh, yeah, I've, I've thanked him over and over again for allowing you guys to come up here sooner than usual. Because we do love you guys. And without you guys up here, our town is nothing. You guys bring personality up here. You guys bring heart up here. You guys bring hard work up here. Um, you guys bring beautiful attitudes up here because you're on vacation. It's just a, a wonderful thing. So what street are we on? I think we're on Jeffries. No, we're on Wren, W-R-E-N. And now we're gonna tur turn right on McWinnie and it curves around to a street called Eureka. So you don't have to really make all these different turns. You're gonna be forced to have to turn up here anyway. So at this yield sign, you're gonna be going left here because you don't have a choice. And this is Eureka. And now we're turning right on Oak. And now Oak will dead end in a, at a street called Jeffries and you wanna make a left. I really hope you guys can study this because I promise you when you come up when there's a big storm and everybody and their dog is up here you're gonna thank me you are really gonna thank me and as I always mentioned the locals some of them really get upset with me about this um, just please just just please make sure you're not driving like bats out of hell that's all just be as respectful as you guys always are So yes, this is Jeffries, and we're gonna make a left. Jeffries and Oak. Woo! Well, that's a big, beautiful house. I've never even noticed how big that place is. Wow. Anybody up here have an Airbnb or a vacation rental? Um, I'd like to stay there, and it would just be me and the wife I'm not, I'm not asking for free. Um, I just like to post videos of places that I've stayed up here that are really nice. And it'll definitely help you guys get more vacation or staying there. Um, but yeah, as I said, I never asked for discounts, nothing like that. You guys have worked really hard to own a vacation rental and therefore you deserve to get paid whatever you're asking. I, I, I never asked my friends for discounts precisely for that reason. They've worked hard to get to where they're at and, 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 and I don't wanna devalue what they're doing. That's just not, that's, that's not right. That's just not right. So what I'd like to do is go and stay there just for maybe two nights at the most during the week when it's not, not crowded at all and uh, do a nice video of it and put it on the channel. And hopefully a bunch of people from the channel look at it and want to find out how to stay there and then maybe they can get a hold of you guys to stay there. But that would be super cool. I would, I would absolutely love that. The bigger the place, the better. 
I just love staying in big palatial mansions and stuff like that. So as you'll see on, on okay, I've got one, uh, what's it called? Um, oh my gosh. Uh, what's, <laughs> uh, playlist. I've got one playlist that has basically, it's only my lodging up here. It's only playlist I have. And I've stayed at a couple humongous spots up here. One of them, I rented out a whole bed and breakfast all to myself. It was just me. Yeah, it was just me. It was pretty awesome. Anyway, we just were on Pennsylvania Avenue. I'm sorry I got all caught up in, uh, in talking about other things, but now we are on, I believe, Village Way or Village Drive or one, one of the two. And we are entering the village right now. And as a lot of you who come up and spend time know that this used to be called The Cave. It used to be a beautiful, great music venue. And now it's a sports bar. And I'm not a drinker. I haven't had a drink in over nine years. June 23rd, 2013 is my sobriety date. All right, let's, let's do this here. So we're almost to the end of the village. And when we get up to Big Bear Boulevard, you'll, as you can see, there, there's already significantly less snow. And we're not that far away from the mountain at all. It's, it's just amazing to me how little snow is remaining. But then a few hundred yards away, it's like double the amount. So here's Big Bear Boulevard. You got Chevron right here. You've got Leroy's across the street, Village Pizza right here. Village Pizza's pretty good, guys. For me, it's hit and miss, unfortunately, like most most restaurants up here. It's uh, one day it's good, the next day it's inconsistent. go bowling sometime together guys let's go hit that place up oh yeah the bowling barn yeah so keep your eyes peeled here look at look at the snow on the sides of the roads there's just not much the roads are in great condition for you guys to drive on just keep in mind at nighttime after the snow is melting during the day it'll melt into the road and once it refreezes at night it's gonna become slick again so even if you come up come up here two weeks after the storm do not do not tell yourself that you're totally safe because once the freezing conditions come, as I said, a lot of this snow melts during the day and melts right back into the street and then freezes. So you will have black ice. You just gotta be super, super careful. It worries me a lot with you guys because I've developed such good relationships with, with all of you and it, I, I don't want anything to happen to any of you guys, man. I just want you guys to come up here and have a blast. Passing Pine Knot. Pine Knot is one of the entrances into the village, guys. And yeah. So we are going to take this all the way back to Moon Ridge so y'all can see what's up. Yo, two minutes. I am pulling up past night. I'll see you in two seconds. All right, dude. Bye. Once again, guys, road conditions are great. You'll have no problem driving. Those of you who have a lot of fear of driving on these mountain roads, especially when we do have 
you know, ice and snow on the sides and whatnot, you have nothing to be concerned about. Only, as I said, the only potential to be concerned about is the daytime snow melt and refreezing at night as it trickles into the middle of the road. That's all you gotta be cautious for. Otherwise, you guys will be fine. You guys will be totally fine. I'm gonna stop at 7-Eleven real quick. Then I'll restart the video. Hang on, guys. Sorry, guys, I had to shut off the video for a second. Um, and now I'm turning it back on. So this is about where we shut it off. I had to turn around. So we are gonna go right now. Woo. So yeah, once again, we're just looking at the snow today, see what's left for you guys to come up. The closer you get to the ski resorts, once again, you guys, or up in Moon Ridge, areas like that, you'll be able to find places to go sledding and stuff like that for the kids still, I promise you. I don't know how nice the snow will be. It might be a little bit icy from the constant daytime melt to refreezing at night, but it's better than nothing. And I think it'll still be fun for the children. I think they'll love it. I know I always loved it as a kid. So yeah, here we're coming up to Summit Boulevard right now and the big 7-Eleven right here with the gas station. The way you guys know if you're on the uh, to turn at the proper street to get to Snow Summit, besides the street saying Summit Boulevard, uh, you'll be at the 7-Eleven with a gas station. Then you just want to turn right there, and you'll be golden. Then just take that straight ahead. But yeah, we're gonna go into Lower Moon Ridge a little bit more on the other side before we end this video. And then we will be done. Temperature has gone up a little bit. It's 41 degrees. We're gonna cross Moon Ridge Road here and go to a street called Catalina. It's not the next street. The next street is Moon Ridge Way, but the following street is called Catalina. And we're gonna take Catalina. all the way back to Elm and then to Moonridge. All right, here we go. Right on Catalina. This is another way to sneak into Moonridge, you guys, when there's a lot of heavy traffic. This is for you guys, your eyes only. Here's a witness of Jehovah's place right there. Whoop, whoop. All right, and remember in the neighborhood, speed limit's 25s, 25s, 25s. But only drive as safe as the conditions are requiring. So if, if, if there's a lot of snow melt in the road at nighttime, you guys, take it a lot slower. You don't want to be... Uh, Sliding off the side of the road. Oh, 26. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Getting out of control here, huh? All right. Then I live like just beyond this fence right here. All right. So we're going to take this, as I said, to Elm Street. Every town has an Elm Street. <laughs> A second. Hey mom, can I call you back? I'm making a video right now. Okay, bye. All right, so we're coming up to Elm Street. I do want to make a right here. And this street right now that we're on, Catalina turns into Cougar, I believe. Or no, it turns into Sonoma. I don't know. I get so confused, you guys. I get so confused. Anyway, here we are. We're in Moon Ridge at the very beginning of the new roundabout, but we're not going to be taking the roundabout. We are not going to be taking the roundabout. Okay, this guy. All right, cool. Anyway, I hope you guys got a good sense of, uh, of how much snow is left around these parts. 
I hope it's enough for you guys to consider coming up and having a good time. No matter what, just being in the mountains away from the whole rat race, serious concrete jungle down there. Come up here, you guys. Let us, let us host you. Let us give you guys a good time, all right? Take care. I love you guys very much. It's November 15th, 2022, Big Bear Lake, California. Till next time, folks. Till next time. Yeah.